The Travels of Sir John Mandeville is a captivating medieval travel narrative attributed to John Mandeville, a supposed English knight who claims to have journeyed extensively through the Middle East and Asia in the 14th century. Although the actual authorship remains uncertain, the text provides a fascinating glimpse into the medieval European perception of the world beyond their borders. One of the most striking aspects of Mandeville's narrative is the amalgamation of real experiences with fantastical elements. He presents a blend of geographical information, religious observations, and mythical accounts, creating a rich tapestry of the lands he claims to have visited. The text is not merely a factual travelogue but a mix of anecdotes, legends, and religious teachings woven together to entertain, educate, and inspire curiosity about distant lands. Mandeville's portrayal of exotic locations is vivid and often embellished with mythical creatures and marvels. He described strange and wondrous sights, including monstrous races like the Cynocephaly, dog-headed people, or the Cyopods, one-legged creatures. These fantastical elements add an air of mystique and adventure to the narrative, catering to the medieval fascination with the unknown and the miraculous. Moreover, religious elements pervade the text, reflecting the strong influence of Christianity during that era. Mandeville frequently intertwines his travel accounts with religious anecdotes, legends, and observations. He describes religious sites, relics, and customs of various cultures, often presenting a mix of genuine curiosity and a sense of superiority towards non-Christian beliefs. His accounts serve not only to inform readers about distant lands but also to reinforce the Christian worldview prevalent in medieval Europe. The narrative style of The Travels is conversational and engaging. Mandeville addresses the reader directly, offering advice, sharing personal opinions, and encouraging a sense of wonder about the world. His storytelling is colorful and animated, aiming to captivate the audience and transport them to the far-off lands he describes. The author's emphasis on personal experience, even if dubious, adds a sense of authenticity to the narrative, inviting readers to imagine themselves on these fantastical journeys. While the text is undoubtedly fascinating, its accuracy and reliability have been widely debated among scholars. Many inconsistencies and inaccuracies have been identified, raising doubts about the authenticity of Mandeville's travels. Some argue that the work is a compilation of earlier travel accounts and legends rather than a first-hand exploration by a single individual. Regardless of its veracity, the travels remains valuable as a cultural artifact, offering insights into medieval perceptions of geography, religion, and the unknown. Furthermore, the influence of Mandeville's work on subsequent explorers and writers cannot be overlooked. Despite its questionable factual basis, the travels captured the imagination of readers for centuries, inspiring explorers like Christopher Columbus and Marco Polo. Its impact on literature and exploration helped shape European understanding and curiosity about distant lands, contributing to the age of exploration in later centuries. In conclusion, The Travels of Sir John Mandeville is a complex and enigmatic text that blends fact and fiction to create a vivid portrayal of distant lands and cultures. Its mixture of geographical information, mythical elements, religious observations, and engaging storytelling continues to intrigue readers, offering a glimpse into medieval perceptions of the world beyond Europe. While its historical accuracy remains dubious, its cultural and literary significance endures as a testament to the human fascination with exploration, adventure, and the unknown.